Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today's video will be our third video on the LG C1 and G1 HD CP 2.2 debacle. Um, which rendered the panels unable to do 4K HDR from their HDMI inputs or an external source plugged into them in your games, your I mean your consoles, your Apple TV, Fire Sticks, Blu-ray players, etc. Now there was a fix for this. It was point eighty was the firmware update. What I'm doing here today is following up with some of you that have not been able to um, get that to work. So the dot eighty came out. Um, my buddy Ian and some others let us know, and it's such an important part of our community let us know the fix was in and it fixed the issue and they're all set but some of you have finally gotten that update and still have not been able to fix the issue and there are uh, two people game on and courtney two people that are in our community that have struggled with this issue that have remedied it with a, a few different ways uh start we'll start with courtney and as i'm talking we're going to show in a picture in picture how to actually do this it is a uh, quick start plus which is in the settings which courtney was away for the weekend came back uh, found the point 80 or dot 80 firmware update went to enable uh, the update didn't have it work unplugged it factory reset didn't work and this quick start plus which is buried in the settings it's not difficult to find you'll see it while i speak in this video you go into all settings go into devices general then devices and you're able to disable it there um, you also have to unplug the panel um, these panels do restart or these displays do restart and to take the update you also have to unplug it for about five minutes but this quick start plus is something you also need to disable i don't know if that's the memory or the cache that are in the hdmi that keep it from functioning um, game on also had done this step and still had an issue and uh, what they found or, or he or she found was to unplug the hdmi inputs all of them from the display and then go through the update, unplug your panel, restart the panel, and then plug everything in. Now, I don't know how this works in regards to, again, memory or cache or something stuck um, in the HDMIs. I do know even restarting our routers at times, you need to unplug the LAN cables from them. This may be a similar thing so that is two things you can do to make sure that this firmware update hits home is disable the quick star plus um, as courtney had recommended and just to take another step unplug all devices give them a fresh start do your update power off unplug give it the five minutes replug restart and then plug all of your devices back in um, so many handshake issues with all the things that we use all the devices we use you'll see that with the xbox at times you need to close an app unplug it things like that it's just the way a lot of this technology works i do believe there is memory cache things like that are stuck in the hdmi cables i guess um Thank you to Game On and to Courtney and to everybody in the community. This is why uh, it's important for us to be able to do these videos. It's also very important for forums out there where users are able to reach out. The challenge is it's very difficult for everyone to find each other. I have a very small channel. I still want to get this out there for you guys now in regards to lg all i ask from lg sony or any of these mistakes happen uh this was a big one as black friday has a port um, approached and many people took back their panels um, and then the reason i'm doing this video is many of you have also taken back once the dot 80 didn't work you were fed up and it's completely understandable others have chose sony panels or panasonic all depends on where you live that is also understandable but i ask from lg sony any of the manufacturers is instead of just having something vague or not saying anything at all or putting something else out there 
on your website, I would ask that you're a little louder about it and give the full steps of how to do this instead of relying on forums and users and YouTube channels to walk people through it. All I ask is a lot of these companies just have some transparency and even the updating of these panels or these firmware updates, pulling them off of the website, it has to be a regional website that sometimes doesn't work. I've tried it where I'll put in, when I had the CX, I'll put in CX, it'll say it, I'll click on it, it'll say device not found. So all I ask from all these manufacturers is transparency. These mistakes do happen. All you need to do, and this didn't affect everyone, by the way, it didn't affect a lot of people, even with build dates after September, they did not have this issue. All I ask is honesty and transparency. Put out something on your website, put out exactly what to do, and explain why it was affected um, and just give some simple steps as we are doing here. Instead of letting users spend hours upon hours trying to figure it out on their own. Now, I'll spend one more minute talking about this. I am very familiar with this troubleshooting of panels. I do have a YouTube channel, but I am just a regular consumer. And that time that you guys have spent troubleshooting, restarting, stopping, looking up on line going on forums is hours upon hours upon hours and the challenge is it really ruins that buying uh, that buying experience it really does ruin um, and me being somebody who has a very healthy positive community and the videos that I put up um, talking to people about the choices they make between this panel and another takes uh, hours and hours of their research. And then to have that spoiled by something like this is a real problem. So all I ask is a little bit of transparency and just some steps for them to follow versus having me make three videos on it to try and explain. And luckily I have community members that were able to report. But for some of you guys, as I mentioned, when this update didn't work, you were completely frustrated you went and returned your panels. Again, understandable. And for LG, you did lose a big part of sales from what I understand, even in my own community, where they were there between this panel and another, and they went another way. And that's a shame because the C1 and the G1 are excellent. Again, special thank you to Game On and Courtney. Please let me know if this helped you guys. Again, the Quickstar Plus disable. Also take all of your HDMI input devices, disconnect them prior to the update and reconnect them. I'm Brian at Whisper Status 74. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the comments. Take care.